now let's try and run this and as you can see Every video I create, I believe in helping you create new technology that can be innovative and creative. The way I create my videos is by making a wide variety of basic IT videos that are easy to understand and will create a base for your future IT creations. My tutorials will include IoT devices, design, databases, websites, apps and so much more. Hello world, my name is Asali, meaning basic in the language Hasa. In today's video we will learn how to power a DC motor and not just any DC motor, a 12 volt fan that I got out of a computer. The schematic. So let's start out with the schematic. As you can see, you'll have to connect a battery of 9 volts into the circuit. The 20 milliamp amps of the Arduino alone won't cut it. Along the, along the schematic, there will be a th transistor keeping the battery from powering the fan. The transistor will be used as a switch. When you power the base of your transistor with your chosen pin, only then the circuit will be closed and the battery will start to power the fan and will start to turn. I am using the BC517. This is, this is a NPN transistor, so please pay attention when connecting your pins. Make sure you connect the positive side to the collector and the negative side to the emitter. I also connected a diode to make sure the transistor and the Arduino won't get damaged. Whenever you disconnect a battery from a DC motor, it may create, a, uh, may create some induction voltage, which is bad for your components, that's why I'm using a diode. I'll make a video in the future on PNPN and PNP transistor, transistors for more clarity. If this schematic is a little bit unclear, then I advise you guys to head out to my Patreon page, the link will be in the description. Maybe this kind of schematic will help you out more. Don't worry about paying yet. If you haven't found what you needed, you can simply unpledge from my Patreon page without having you to pay for anything. Let's start with declaring. We only need one integer this time for the pin that will trigger the transistor and it's called DC. And we give it the pin number 9. Now to the setup. Let's start out with our monitor firstly. Like so and we'll set our pin mode for our integer DC to output. Next we go to our loop. Now the thing is that pin number 9 is a PWM pin, meaning we can apply an analog write to this pin and make the fan speed up and slow down. Now to do this we will create a for loop that goes up from 0 to 255 and every time it enters the for loop it will go up by 5. Now inside this for loop we want to print out our current value, like so. And now let's add the analog write with the integer dc and our, val and our value. And let's add a delay to finish up our for, for, for loop. Now after the for loop I want to add another delay of let's say 5 seconds. And now we want our dc motor to slow down again. So we have to write the exact same for loop again, but this time it has to start from 255 to 0 and will lower our value by 5 each time it enters our for loop. And to finish up I'll do another println, but let this one empty and add another delay of 5 seconds. Now let's try and run this, and as you can see the fan will speed up and wait for 5 seconds and then slow down and wait and, and wait for another 5 seconds. There we go. So what to do now? I advise you to buy a BC517 or just any other NPN transistor. I'll have a link in the description down below. Uh, I don't think there's I don't think there's a transistor included in the starter kit, but I still advise you to buy the starter kit or the cheaper version. A link to that will be in the description as well. There should be an affiliate link and a normal link. The affiliate link meaning I will get a small percentage of the price that you are paying for referring you to the product. This does not mean the price is higher for you, so don't worry. 
but if you want to support me definitely go and use that link to buy the Arduino Uno and or starter kit. As well there will be a link to my, to my Patreon page containing all of my files, files that I used in today's video, such as the fritzing scheme and the Arduino code. Link for that down below or on screen. So that's it for today guys, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on the next video and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye world.